Hi everybody, I'm Kate and this is Elizabeth. And I wanted to tell you what I did this weekend. I had so much fun. I made a painting. I made a really big painting. It's right here. It's a painting of where we live. Elizabeth and I live in Florida. And in Florida, we have lots of palm trees like this one. And we have parrots like these two. We have lots of tropical plants and we have beautiful sunrises and sunsets. So I wanted to share that with you. If you were to make a painting of where you live, what would it look like? What kind of trees would you have? What kinds of birds? And what kinds of plants? What? What? Elizabeth wants to say something. What is it? You did? Elizabeth just told me that she also made a painting this weekend. Well, let me see it. I want to see it. Is this it? Oh, wow. This is beautiful, Elizabeth. Oh my goodness, I love it. Look at that. You have a flower, a nice red flower with a yellow center. And you have the sun, bright and yellow. It looks beautiful. And a clear blue sky. Well, that is just beautiful. Oh, I almost knocked this over. What? What's the matter? She's very upset. Oh, oh, Elizabeth, it still looks beautiful, but she's upset because she didn't have any green. She didn't have any green to paint the leaves and to paint the grass here. Hmm. Well, what colors did you have? Let's see. Are these your paints right here? Oh, let's let's take a look at them. Okay. So, I'll just prop this up like that. Can you all see that? Okay. Let's see. You had red. You had blue. You had yellow. Hmm. Red, blue, yellow. Hmm. Red, blue, yellow. I have an idea. Do you guys know what I'm getting at? You had blue and you had yellow. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Hmm. Let's try something. Let's take your paintbrush and some water. These are watercolors and watercolors. Have you ever used watercolors? They're really fun. You use water to make them painty, to make them wet, and then you can paint with them. So let's take a little bit of yellow and we'll put it over here. Oh, it's wanting to drip down. Put a yellow over here. Wash off the brush and then we'll take just a little bit of blue and we'll put it in there too. And oh my goodness, look at what we have. It looks like green to me. Oh, and it looks like some more of the yellow wants to go in there. So let's just push it in. We'll let it go. We'll let it all go. How about that? We'll let it all go. Oh, isn't that a nice green? Okay, now let's put it on and see what happens, all right? May I do this, Elizabeth? Is that okay? You gotta ask, right? Oh, she says it's okay, so let's go ahead. We'll paint the leaves. Can you all see that? It's a, it's kind of a pale green. If I added more paint, it would be, it wouldn't be as pale, but I don't have a lot of paint here. And you can paint the grass. Can you see that? Elizabeth, what do you think? You sure it's okay that I'm doing this? She says it's okay. So look at that. You take the yellow, you take the blue, and you take the yellow, and you combine them, and you get green. That's pretty nifty. So, Elizabeth's favorite color in the whole world is green. So I can see why she was very upset that she didn't have any green. 
but now you can paint anything green that you want. What are you going to paint? Turtles, leaves of lots of things, right? Leaves, frogs, snakes, lizards, lettuce, lettuce. Amazing. Well, I think that would make a great painting. You can put them all together. You can have the lizard eating the lettuce. You can have the frog eating the lettuce. You can have lots of, you can have a whole lettuce party. I think that's great, Elizabeth. That is a great idea. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you also can have fun with your paints and maybe you can paint some green things too. Okay, bye. Say bye. Bye.